Hey y'all, today's video is sponsored by Lavola's Period Proof Underwear. I was sent the period briefs. I love briefs. I felt like this was the best option for me due to the fact that I do bleed heavy. So I wanted something that I felt secure in. I love how these period briefs have me snatched in and I felt like it was holding everything very tightly and I knew once I went to sleep nothing would leak out because the amount of cushion that was inside of the crouch area I knew for a fact nothing was getting out of these bad boys and I recently got diagnosed with PCOS so I wanted to try a more natural way other than tampons all the time so when they reached out to me, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I will definitely review these. I'm just showing y'all the bed before I lay down. Just in case if something do leak, I was going to show that too. I'm the type, once I give a review, I'm going to give you my honest review. And this cycle go around, I was heavy. So <laughs> yeah, your girl's going to show everything. I had Jared set up the camera for me when he woke up for work in the morning because I wanted to get the first look with y'all. We're going to do this together. I'm not going to act like, oh, I bled and I'm going to go change it. Nope, we're going to get this first look together. So I'm getting out of the bed and this is going to be the moment of truth. As you can see, nothing on the bed. So these panties are a go. As you're about to see, they have period proof panties that will fit your everyday need. They have briefs, high waist, mid waist, boy shorts that are my personal faves, bikini, hipsters, they even have thongs, baby. They have thongs for you. So if you would like to purchase these period proof panties, I will leave a link below down in my description box. Hey y'all, what it do? I just want to hop on in, you know, have a little chit chat while y'all watch me get my little silk press. Valentine's Day weekend coming up. What are y'all doing with y'all booze? I would love to know. Are y'all going out of town? Y'all going to a dinner, sipping paint, picnic, whatever. I would love to know. Drop them below in the comments. And if you don't have a boo and you celebrate it alone or you celebrate it with friends, drop that below too. I would love to know what my girls and boys are doing on Valentine's Day weekend or Valentine's Day. So, and what are some gifts that y'all wanted from y'all boo? Like, do y'all just like flowers or do y'all like sentimental gifts? Me, personally, I love sentimental gifts i feel like for valentine's day that's when you show the person that you love that you listen to them like i love purses perfume or just you know thoughtful gifts and i feel like that's what valentine's day is versus like christmas gifts i feel like valentine's day you can really go for the gusto and just go all out it's really the thought that counts when it comes to Valentine's Day. I don't know why I'm so excited about Valentine's Day this year. Maybe because this is Jared and I first Valentine's Day as husband and wife. Or it's the fact that we can actually get to celebrate it. Because in the previous years, our anniversary was 211. So we always celebrated our anniversary and Valentine's Day on the same day. So we, you know, we never really celebrated valentine's day like this so this year i'm so excited i don't know i love to give gifts i love to you know show my man that i love you you everything to me i just i just love to give gifts i just love to see a smile on my man face But back to this video, I love T. Like, she really has grown my hair over the years. My hair has never, ever, ever, ever grown 
past the bottom of my cheekbone. I always look like the lady off, um, what is that, Fantastic Four. I always look like that lady with them glasses with that bang. Like, my hair never grew. And the fact that it's grown to this length, y'all can't tell me nothing. I feel like, um, Beyonce. And I want to give y'all a special thanks because y'all don't know how much I appreciate all the kind words and uplifting messages and stories that y'all um left in the last episode of Keeping Up With The Johnsons. Just hearing y'all just made me just feel so much better about this. And I'm getting at ease. I'm not stressed no more. I'm really just accepting the fact that when it's God's time, it's God's time. I'm not stressing myself about it anymore. And I really, 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 really do appreciate all of you more than you ever know. I really appreciate y'all. I love y'all, J Gang.
Hey y'all, we on the way to the outlet mall to grab a couple of things. You know, Valentine's Day coming up. Sporty here. I shouldn't get him anything because he opened up his gift and that really like pissed me off so bad, y'all. I was crying. Bro, it was her fault. How was it? No, it was not my fault. Go on and tell her. Please let her know in the comments. If she wanted to make something special and it was some special gift she wanted to have a moment for, she should have hid the shit. You're not going to tell me. She going to tell me, oh, yeah, this show, this show, uh, that was how they get. You. Okay, boom. That was on my lunch break. Came back from lunch break. Now it's sitting on the, it's sitting on the couch looking like, open me, open no, me. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. It's all just, you know, man, that'd be kind of fire. And he opened it. And I'm like, why would you do that? Regardless of the fact, if I went upstairs because I had I rushed to take a shower because Sarah ain't no rush. She's yeah. at home all day. But I, it doesn't matter. Right. Don't pick up my stuff. Don't pick up. Don't do that. If I told you what it was, don't open it. He talking about if it was you. On the other hand, you would do it. No, I would not. No, I would not. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You said if it was you, if if I told you I bought you something, you would do the same thing. I wouldn't have told you I bought you nothing. I wouldn't even entice you. Jerry, even if I went and said, I got you this, and it was still right, you still would open it because no, you nosy. I don't know. You are nosy. You get something every day I don't open. You look at the thing to see what it is. I just look to see who name it is. Exactly, but you see what it is, though, from who? Hey, I ain't saying about something in my house. No secret in my house. I got no secret in my house. Mm -hmm. That's a little headline I'm feeling your damn son. <laughs> you got your hair cut and feeling yourself. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, ain't never look. Ways ain't never laid that flat. He'll be rolled up looking peasy. But anyway, we're gonna check back in with y'all once we get there. But wait, we don't know if we're going to the one in Kennesaw or the one in McDonald. But he wants to go to the one in McDonald because they got these shoes. But I really don't like that one because they don't have many stores that I have. I mean, and he swear can, that one fire. But we can go this. Whatever. We can do this this weekend. We can go to the other next week. We don't find nothing. Whatever. But we'll check back in with y'all once we get there. Hello? Hey 
y'all. I know I was supposed to check back in with y'all once we got to Tanger Outlet, but we was really trying to go in the stores, get what we want, and get out as quick as possible. So, y'all already know how that goes when you want y'all go shopping. But we're on the way to a baby shower now. It's a drop in baby shower, so it's whoever, it's from three to six, so whoever's, you know, there during those times, play a little game, grab a little food, drop off the gift, and dip. Cause it's COVID, and you know, we don't want to get the mama sick. Give some of that, give me some of that. I'll take some of that, you got plenty. Do it together or separate? Y'all can do separate if you want to. Right. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> That's a butterfinger. Where the crunchy stuff That's from? a butterfinger. Ain't no way. Babe, it smell like a butterfinger. It do smell like a butterfinger. It's a butterfinger. You're right, you're right, you're right. No! 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 Usually, you see that game, but they're doing it today. Hey, Mo. I'm ready. Hey, Mo. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm no, he never know. Yeah, that's some old school. What that is, Mr. Mr. Goodbar? No, Goodbar. Goodbar. No. no, what's the one with just all that? You just got peanuts inside. A Bay Brew. No, they got a little meat in it. Almond Joy? No. Not really. Uh, you're just peanut and chocolate in a bar. Who else is? Everybody. Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> No, no, no. You eat this a good one. The way it's reaction was. I feel it. It's peanuts. You can feel the peanuts. It's a bit. Almond joy, baby. It's an almond. Don't you see that almond? 
That's an almond joy. That's a big old peanut. That's an almond joy. You sure that ain't a butter thing? Like a but what they look like? Baby. That's an armature. I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna be wrong and put armature. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna be I don't know. I can't say that. I feel like it's a twig, but I feel like it's a twig. Oh, no, bro. See, that got a penis in the two bad one, Let me see. That is not no sneaker. That is not no sneaker. But you can tell by the peanut. Bro, what? <laughs> no. That is not no sneaker. Bro, I'm not going to leave with you. That is not no sneaker. Don't you see how little those peanuts are? It's either a sneaker what? or a bathroom. It's a sneaker. That's not a sneaker. Stop sucking it down like <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, my boy. Okay. You want me to write my own? You write yours. Yeah, because you own. No I would have led to it. Anybody know this fourth one ain't on the board. I said sneak six. It is not a sneaker. That is a sneaker. You put that. Wait, let me see which one you crossed out and said it wasn't. Smile. Is this what I said? Which one I said was Butterfinger? Should have went with I would uh, say right. Yeah, what well, can I turn mine in? Okay. Uh, yeah. None, right? You got to you got. No, ain't no way. Oh, so she, oh, so she gonna switch it up? So she listened to me. I did. So, oh, number two, when you said had the mint in it, you was almost right. I don't know where you got the twigs from. When you said mint in it, I don't know where the twigs from. No I mint. did say mint. I said mint. I smell mint, but I couldn't think of nothing that's got mint in it. My almond joy. Almond joy ain't got it. They got mint. They got mint almond joys. Mint almond joy. That was an almond joy. It was an arm joy. It was not no arm joy. Which one time? This one time? The price is right. The price is right. Oh. What it is? Chicken and rice.
taste the same. They all do taste the same. Yeah, they're this time. I'm gonna let y'all have it. want to cheer before we release this part of the baby shower. Here we go. special blessing over this child during this time. So, Father God, we thank you. You guys listen up. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this life that you knew of before the foundation of the earth. Thank you, God, for the assignment that is on her. And we declare right now that everyone in this space honors that assignment and helps her to reach that God-given assignment. We lift up these parents to you, grandparents, friends, cousins, uncles, nieces, nephews, whoever, that they too will be a part of honoring the assignment. Thank you, Lord, for a sweatless delivery. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hey, y'all. Hey, I'm just hopping in to close this bad boy out. But if you like the video, tell your sister, brother, cousin, coworker, whoever to come and join the J gang. But until next time, I will see y'all later.